I don't got the tools to do what I want to do today, but I noticed a couple things that I could do in the engine bay. Um, I already did this the other night. Pretty much made it shiny again. It was like pretty dull. Let me see if I can find a spot. Can't really tell, but it looked like the intake. Like dull finish, not shiny. The uh, strut bar I kind of touched, so it looks kind of crappy right now. But it was shining. Let me clear that up. But yeah, so pretty much what I'm going to do today is shine up the intake, make it all shiny again and not so scuffed up and dirty the way it looks right now. Alright guys, so basically my intake is a two-piece intake. It's not a name brand. So I took it apart, grabbed my spray bottle and pretty much wiped it down. So what I'm getting next or what I got next is Neverdoll from Walmart. This is where I got, that's where I got this. And pretty much you want to grab a little bit of wick like this. Got some used ones thought I was going to use. And all you want to do pretty much is just use this to clean and polish your intake. And all you do is go back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to turn black. And that's how you know you're cleaning it pretty much. So I'm just going to keep doing this. That's how it looks like when it's wiped up with that. Grab the towel and watch it shine. So this is pretty damaged pretty well, but as you can see, it's getting a lot more polished and shinier each time you do it. All right, so with this one, there you guys go, see how dull it is. Time to do the same thing to this one. So I pretty much the only polish the side that it's gonna be facing everybody. Why well, polish the whole thing? I mean, if it was name brand, most likely, but it's not. So I got that all polished up. Now we're gonna just wipe it. Let's see how it looks. Boom. There you go. It's a lot shinier. Dull, shiny. What a difference. So I got everything back in place. Made a couple spots more shinier than before. But now it looks like it belongs with that DC strut bar. Polished the aluminum radiator up a bit. Then I tried to just see what would happen and cleaned the uh, thermostat or coolant neck makes me want to do the rest of the engine but that's gonna take a while but look at how clean that came out just with that never dull then I started cleaning up a bit what I want to do next most likely is do this battery relocation put it in the trunk just to make the engine bay look a little more cleaner then probably f tuck some of the other the rest of the wiring that's in here previous owner had some of it tucked but there's still errors that needs to be addressed like this the whole chassis ground needs to be fixed I don't know what the hell is going on with this but it works so I'm not touching it yet until I got all the right stuff so next thing I'm gonna do is probably go to my parents house and wire up my dad's stereo because he's been wanting a better sound system in his truck for a long time now and I haven't gotten to it and I was supposed to get to it last week but I didn't 
So I feel like it's time to go and do that, make a video of that, since this was a little bit too short. So catch you guys over there. All right, guys, so I'm here at my parents' house, and what I'm gonna do is pretty much install this in my dad's car. This was in my wagon to power my two front speakers until I got the four channel. But now that I don't got the wagon and that car came with sound system, well, at least the subs, I installed the amp. I'm gonna install this into my dad since I don't need another amp. I got this replacement one as well, just in case something happens with that. Knock on wood, nothing happens. But yeah, my dad pretty much has his mounted under the seat, all bunched up and had that in his 93 Pontiac way back then since we were back in Hawaii. But yeah, it's time to swap that out, change it, and give him some power into it because he definitely does not have any power in this. So let's get to it. Okay, so what you guys want to do first before touching anything electronic about in the car, you want to disconnect the, of course, the negative battery. Let's see, that's pretty loose already. Can't get this off. All right, so take off the negative lead, negative lead, move that out the way. Now you can start messing with the parts in here. So time to disconnect his wiring so we could get to it. I have no idea how he has this set up, but we're gonna fix that today. All right, guys, don't know how this audio video looks right now, but because it's late at night, and as you can see, I'm still in the truck working on it. So I got all my dad's stuff hooked up right now. And basically his head unit, his old head unit was not making the subwoofer bump at all. It just sounded like a regular speaker just going through. So throwing in my old head unit, having the subwoofer connectors hooked up to it because this had the three channel output, rear, front, and subwoofer. His old head unit had the same thing, but I think something got fried in there because you had to connect a ground to make it sound better without a buzz noise. Anyways, got everything hooked up now and about to test this out to see if it works. But don't know where the key's at. Hey dad, where's the key? Hey buddy. Huh? Say hi. hi. Pizza. Ooh, we got pizza. Where's your key, Dad? What do you do? Oh, key's right there. I got, oh wait, I didn't, I didn't even hook up the plug. Wait, I didn't hook up the plug. I got everything all hooked up. All right, guys. So it's like almost 10 p.m. and we've got, finally got my dad's sub working nicely. He's probably gonna get copyrighted for this, but no, nope. just using this for testing purposes. But my dad got a little truck speaker subwoofer. I don't. I'm not really a fan of it. I rather wish put like a big box in here so it could really bump. But he had that thing since his Pontiac 1993 Pontiac days. So. He ain't changing that up. He's gonna put a second one in, most likely, because it's starting to bump. His audio sounds a lot better, and the head unit just looks nicer too. So it's not that jank green that Pioneer gave it, had him, he had before. But yeah, guys, so just gonna put everything back together, got this done. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more YouTube videos to come. All right, peace out, YouTube.